everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a Zara haul. I'm very excited by this haul. So I'm actually filming this before I go on holiday. I've got a trip to Parma with my boyfriend, which I've kind of been planning outfits for for a very long time, but I realized I hadn't done a Zara haul for a while. So I made a little order and now I'm thinking maybe I should change everything that I've already packed for Palmer because I love all these pieces so much. We are planning to maybe go away again later in the year, like September, October time. And I have a potential trip that might be happening. I don't know, it's kind of 50-50 at the moment. It might be happening in the next couple of weeks. So I think I probably would get the use out of these clothes if I don't take them to Palmer with me this weekend, but I just love them all so much. I'm gonna get into it so you guys can see them see why I'm so enthusiastic about this haul, but I really do think this is the best haul that I've done in a very long time. It's also a really big haul as well. I've got, I think like 12 or 13 pieces here. So there's a good few looks. Again, I ordered everything in kind of like outfits. So matching sets or things that I think go quite nicely together. So everything that I try on in the try on clips will be in like full outfits, which I think makes it a little bit easier. First up, I have a cream set. I have a couple of waistcoats actually in this video because I love them and I can't seem to stop buying them. So I got this cream one. I already have a like off-white creamy colored one from Forever New, which I've worn quite a lot, but this one I just thought was a slightly nicer shape. I do love the Forever New one, but it's very tailored and a little bit cropped as well. This one is just kind of more straight and a little bit looser, but not oversized. It's still quite fitted. I got it in an extra small and it was only $35.99 and I just love the color of it. I love the material as well. This is the kind of thing that I would wear with the matching trousers, which I will show you properly in a second as like a full two piece set. So this would look great dressed down with my Oran or Shaipuri sandals, but also it looks great with a pair of heels as well if you want to wear it as a set. But I could definitely wear this with a different pair of trousers. I think it would look great with light colored denim as well, or a pair of black wide leg trousers. The matching trousers, however, are these ones in the same material and same color, obviously, a little tortoise shell button. They have a nice waistband, belt loops, and pockets as well, which is great. And they're just a nice straight leg trouser. They're nice and loose fitting. I got these in an extra small as well, which I would definitely recommend going down a size in these because they fit like I think a small would fit. Um, they were $49.99, so quite expensive, I think, for a pair of trousers. They are quite flimsy and they are a little bit see-through as well. You can see like the pockets in them, which I don't love. I'm not sure whether to keep this set or whether to just keep the waistcoat because I know I could pair this waistcoat with like another pair of light trousers and it would still look good. It doesn't have to be like an exact matching set. So I am unsure about whether to keep both. So let me know what you guys think of them as a set or whether you think I should just keep the waistcoat on its own. Are the trousers worth it is basically what I'm asking. I am so unhappy with my hair today as well. I feel like I say this in a lot of videos, but I curled it with my straighteners. Um, I speak about that in, I think, last week's vlog. I can't remember. But I was deciding whether to take my air app on holiday or not. And I thought if I could just take my straighteners, it would probably save me a bit of room. And they're a bit more reliable in the heat because sometimes my air app tends to just conk out, especially in a different country, in a hotel and in hot weather. So I was trialing out curling my hair with straighteners. I've got the hang of curling it. I just don't like the way it looks like it kind of creates these kinks which you can't really see until you brush out the curls and then it's too late i just don't love it it's such a shame because i really wanted to find a good alternative to the air app but nothing works the same nothing is as good as that thing anyway on to the second outfit first up is the skirt which is just gorgeous it's just this beautiful crocheted midi skirt it has a nice little plait and tie on the right hand side obviously nice and stretchy around the waist you could wear this on the waist it's a little bit big for me on the waist it kind of sits better around the hips it doesn't have a split i thought it has a split no it doesn't have a split so it's just kind of straight midi pencil skirt really nice length 
I got this in a size small to medium and this was 35 99 This is just great for on holiday, isn't it? This kind of thing. Perfect to put over a bikini. Kind of dresses up swimwear as well, I think. Um, but yeah, just a very handy and comfortable thing to wear. I do like to wear a lot of trousers on holiday, like over swimwear. But sometimes that can be a bit uncomfortable and sometimes you just want something that's a bit more free and a bit more easy to wear and a nice stretchy crochet skirt does the job perfectly it's also like a nice long cover-up as well covers your bum covers your legs so it's super handy and then to go with that obviously like i said you could wear the skirt over swimwear but i picked up this beautiful crochet bra as well to go with it which i just thought was stunning so it's obviously like a crochet triangle bra and then it's got these beautiful flowers on it so so stunning obviously no support in anything like this but for me being a small boobied girl it doesn't really bother me and i think it's nice on holiday doesn't really matter this i got again in a size small to medium and this was 29.99 so quite affordable i think for the set obviously this kind of top you could wear with like a pair of wide leg white linen trousers would look really really good so they're both versatile can be worn separately but i think they're going to make such a nice set together like a beach day set or if you're going for lunch or something this would make a gorgeous set as well in terms of what i wear underneath this skirt obviously if you're wearing swimwear not a problem i just tried it on with some like off-white bikini bottoms as you can see in the cutaway and it worked quite nicely i think nude underwear would work great with this as well because it's not like massively i mean it is kind of massively see-through but the knit is not huge like it's not a huge open knit so it's not too bad and if you've got somewhere on anyway i don't think it really matters next up i have two pieces that I probably wouldn't wear together in all honesty but I just put them together because they were the two miscellaneous bits in this haul. First up is this top which I've had in my saved folder for quite a long time on Zara. It's kind of like a beautiful corset style, it's got this hook and eye detail all the way up the front, really nice almost sweetheart neckline and then it's got this, let me show you like halter neck detail so it sits like that it's really really pretty really flattering shape i thought again this would look great with like a pair of white linen trousers maybe gold accessories it would also look really nice with a big a-line white puffy skirt as well equally i could wear this with jeans and heels as well at home again i got it in a size extra small and this was only 29.99 it's just a really beautiful basic top to have i kind of lack evening tops i have a lot of blouses vests basics but nothing kind of a bit more fancy for the evening so this is a great option and super affordable as well for the purpose of this video i paired it with these trousers but i probably wouldn't wear the two together these trousers were something that i just sort of chucked in the basket didn't really think too much of was like yeah that'll probably be something that i return but i love these they do have a matching top available which i think is like one of those like crossover halter neck ones but i didn't really look at that one too much i just like the trousers on their own so they're a nice linen trouser elasticated drawstring waist and then they go into this really wide leg with a big turn up at the bottom they're a really nice length they don't drag along the floor too much and they're just so comfortable these are the perfect thing to take on holiday because they're so good for traveling really really comfy for the airplane but also they're the perfect kind of thing that you can wear day to day these would look great as well i thought with the crochet top great to pop over swimwear great to wear with a matching linen shirt um, i got them in a xs and they were 49.99 i didn't realize they were that expensive 50 pounds for a pair of linen trousers i love the color as well it's this gorgeous like taupe kind of stone color which is beautiful but i don't know do you think that's too much money for a pair of linen trousers i have a couple of pairs similar to this but none fit as nicely as i think these ones do they also have pockets as well which is super handy so let me know what you think on these linen trousers i really like them i think i may have to keep them so next up is another set that is a little bit different for me this is unlike anything that i have the top is something that sorry because this is black it's going to go so overexposed when i show it but yeah the top is something that i would not have bought on its own it's quite a cute little top it's almost like a i don't know what you call this material it's almost kind of like a waterproof style material a very industrial kind of zip at the back and a sweater neckline as well it's a strange top it is a strange top it's also got an elasticated bit underneath here so it creates all this volume at the bottom yeah this top is not something that i would wear on its own but with the skirt i think it looks gorgeous so the top i got in an excess and it was 29.99 
And then this is the skirt which I think just makes the outfit. It's in this same kind of like crunchy almost material which is a bit strange but it's very lightweight and I think it does help with the, the flowiness of this material. It also doesn't crease which is great. It's just got an elasticated waist and then it's like a huge A-line poofy skirt. What size did I get it in? I got it in an extra small I think. Yeah so I got this in an extra small to small and the waist is quite big. I don't think it's meant to sit on the waist, I think it's meant to sit kind of below hip length. So in the try on clip I've got it at both kind of levels. I've managed to pull it up to my waist but I also had it sitting kind of just above my hips as well which I think does look quite nice but I think would work better if this top was shorter so you could see more of my stomach because I'm not sure quite how that works but then if you do pull it up it looks kind of like an all-in-one dress. I just love the volume of this skirt, I just think it's gorgeous, it's really chic. Perhaps maybe this would look better with something a bit more dainty on the top for me personally. Maybe something a bit more like a bralette or something a bit smaller I think might work a bit better. But I do just love this skirt. It was 49 99 so quite pricey but I have a white skirt, a similar shape to this from Zara that I got a few hauls ago and that was 79 99 so this one's a bit cheaper I think it's probably because of the material but I just thought this is a bit different I think the length and the volume of the skirt just makes it look so chic and I love it it's a very classic look so I think I'm definitely going to be keeping the skirt I may try it with a different style of top because I don't think there's any point in keeping this top if I would only wear it with the skirt and not wear it on its own. So I'm gonna keep the skirt and I'm gonna try it on with some different top options and we can see what we think. Next up we have another waistcoat set. So here is the waistcoat, very similar to the first one that I showed, but it's got darker buttons and it's this beautiful like beige kind of color, almost like a linen blend as well. And I really love this. It's a size extra small and only 29. 99 i really love this color it's a similar color to the linen trousers and again this is something that i could wear with the shorts that i have here which i'll show you properly in a second or i could wear it with a darker pair of wide leg trousers i could probably get away with a white linen trousers with this as well i could pop it under a blazer i think it's a really really cute waistcoat i'm just not sure how many of them i need so maybe let me know whether you prefer this color or the first one that I showed you. And then the shorts that go with it are just this really cute, like longer tailored pair of linen blend shorts. They've got belt loops, they've got pockets, they cover the bum, they're just really sweet. But I'm not sure that I need them. I don't know if I would really wear the set together too much because I don't actually love the way that it looks on me. I feel like, I don't know, it's uh, the two together are not that flattering on my shape. I feel like maybe this with a white long sleeve linen shirt may suit me a bit better, but I'm not sure. Not sure. And again, I think I've got these in an excess or a small. Oh no, I've got these in a small and they are 29 99 So not too expensive. And maybe I do need something like this, but I just bought a black pair of these from Zara. I think they might even be exactly the same as, as these, just in the black to go with my black waistcoat. So I don't think I need two short waistcoat sets, if you understand what I mean. And finally, we have two dresses and a pair of shoes to show you. This is my favorite dress. I adore this dress. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Again, it was something that didn't look like anything special really on the website, but I just saw it and I thought, yeah, that's gonna work. So it's a linen blend again, and it's in this beautiful like khaki color. And then the top part is a halter neck that you cross over. I don't know how well I am showing you this. You cross it over and then tie it up at the back. You'll be able to see it far better in the try on clip, but it's just such a beautiful dress. The color's gorgeous, the shape is beautiful because then it's completely backless and you've got these ties hanging down as well. It's a really nice, like flowy skirt, really thin, lightweight material. It's just gorgeous, perfect for holiday, but also really nice for this country as well. Would be great for an occasion, would even work nicely for a wedding as well. And I got it in an extra small, and it was 49 99 which I don't think is too bad for the quality of this dress because I think it is beautiful. So I'm really hoping that I get to go on another holiday soon so I can make use of all these gorgeous, gorgeous clothes because I know I would get my wear out of them in this country as well. I very rarely buy things apart from swimwear that I can't really wear in this country. I think the crochet set really is the only thing that needs a beach, but I would just love to be able to go away again and shoot all these pictures 
on holiday so fingers crossed finally for the clothing items we have another dress and this was just a really simple gorgeous piece that i thought you can't really go wrong with this so it's just a white strapless midi dress it's got a little split at the back it's a really flattering material as well it really does kind of suck you in it has this little cut out at the front i've actually not got any underwear on when i'm wearing this so i'm not sure how see-through it would be with underwear i would probably recommend something very seamless because it is such a tight fitting dress but i just went commando so i got it in a size small that it only came in small medium large it fits really nicely and it was only 29.99 they've got to do this in some other colors i reckon it looks like the kind of thing they would do in more than one colour but it's just such a flattering dress very easy to wear I just paired it with a very simple pair of black heels and you cannot go wrong speaking of said black heels here they are so I didn't actually order these in this order I ordered them before but I realized I never really showed you guys properly but they're just a really sweet pair of black like thong flip-flops and I love them very very cute really comfortable i think they were really affordable as well i want to say like 29.99 so that is everything for my zara haul i really hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give me your opinions down in the comments because i'm a bit stuck on what to do on some of the items also let me know your favorites down below everything will be linked in the description box and i'll try and put my sizes there as well if i remember for reference i normally wear a size eight and I am five foot four. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be amazing if you could give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, it would be great if you subscribed as well, because I would love that. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.